well, it's less embarrassing than a defeat, but it's still not a great result, is it? I think I need to just write off Rotherham as well. Every time we come here, we never win. To be honest, I felt there was too many players tonight going through the motions, and to me, that's why I ask, were they given 110% to try and win that game? Um, I'm not saying they weren't trying, I just don't think they were given, I, think they were, I thought they were given, I don't know, 60, 70%, 78%, well even then, that's probably a bit generous, compared to 100. Um, I thought the first half was probably one of the dullest first halves going forward from what I've watched um, for quite some time. Um, we did, apart from a half effort from Clark, we did next to nothing. I thought we were quite lucky in some ways that Rotherham are down near the bottom of the league and are down there because the quality just simply isn't there by the looks of it. And we were lucky that they didn't take the lead in the first half. That we gave the ball away in midfield when we didn't again when we didn't need to. Stupid error, um, which led to them having a one-on-one -on -one chance almost. And Pato bailed us out there and bailed us out from a couple of corners. Funny how some people don't rate Pato, but that's just my opinion. I think he's a really good keeper. But and again, I'm not a keeper, so anyone below tell me if he is good or not. But in my own opinion, I think Pato bailed us out a few times, and I think going forward did next to nothing. I thought Rotherham pure and simply just wanted it a bit more than we did, um, which I didn't think was good enough from the players. And then you get into the second half, and albeit the, the strike that gave Rotherham the lead was a very good effort, actually. Um, you know, the, the fact was we didn't stop the cross. The ball headed out, went straight to the man. I think I think it might have been Sam Klukas, but I might be making that up actually. So don't take take it out with a pinch of salt. Um, great strike, but again, didn't close down the shot. And it's one where I'm less critical of that goal than some of the goals we've conceded. But again, it scores that we have to go one nil down against a team down the bottom of the league. And look, we don't have a god-given right to win any game. Of course, we don't. But um, for me, I felt that that's still a poor result. I mean, look. The deflected effort from Clark, yeah, that saved our skin and got us a point there, but it's not exactly inspiring a result, is it? I mean, I know, obviously, for context, Leeds haven't won there, um, Ipswich drew there, and I think it was something like Middlesbrough, Coventry and Norwich all got beaten, rather. So, look, we're far from the only team to drop points here, but I just feel like if you're wanting to be in the top six, games like this, you can't afford to be dropping points in. Um, and yeah, look, we've got one more game before the Mags game, the FA Cup, and from, yeah, God knows what will happen with that one. But Preston at home on Monday, I think it's a game, again, you have to be winning, in my opinion. But whether we will or not is a different question. The only good thing I can think of about today being lethargic, and, it's, and, I'm clutch and believe me, I'm clutching here, is the fact that January's around the corner. And that's big, not just from Speakman or from Harvey, but like for getting the right sort of players in. And... I think the players need to show a little bit more urgency than they did tonight because I think they are def despite how poor tonight was they are capable of better than that in my opinion anyway guys look the last video of 2023 which isn't exactly I mean it's not terrible but it's not great is it really but you know at least we didn't lose I suppose on like the last two occasions at Rotherham yay but um have a good new year everybody thanks to everyone who wishes well um and yeah safe trip obviously we, and the only reason that the video is uploaded a bit later is because we had to literally dash it to the train station to get the train but yeah um stay safe everyone have the new year and i'll see you on monday after the preston game and of course as you know trying to get 5k subs so if you watch the video and you're not a regular subscriber hit the subscribe button as sean says free doesn't cost a penny and it'll be greatly appreciated stay safe everyone love you lots and be respectful in the comments are we the lads